a little bit earlier today. Uh, it is quarter past 11, so that's much better. But the cold is progressively getting worse. Um, I actually have to now go everywhere with a piece of tissue. It's officially tissue cold. Uh, yeah, we're going to the Melisani Caves today. Um, we waited for today because the forecast for today was like the best weather. So you need to go to this cave apparently at 12 o'clock because it's got like an opening at the top um, and it goes down inside the lake. So if you go at 12 o'clock, um, then you get the best like view down there because apparently the sun shines down into the cave from the opening and then it lights up all the water. So it's kind of like a um, crystal clear blue water. Okay, so everybody said online to come here at 12, but I just didn't want an Isaac. And then it goes all the way out here. We came in the shop for a coffee. Like this. That goes down into the cave. So obviously everyone else read the same blog as me. <laughs> and uh, you can see all the coaches here. There is just, there's hundreds of people here. Um, so I really wouldn't advise coming at 12. Even though it's supposed to be the best time, you're gonna be stood in the queue for hours probably. So what do we do? Frappuccino. <laughs> We're gonna go and have a look around the town and come back uh, later on this afternoon because it's ridiculous. So because we've decided to come away from the lake for now uh, until and go back later, we found this other lake which is like right by the sea. But look how nice this is. So nice. of them to bring the boat over for us. Just parking it so we can have lunch. Oh, can I have the um, swordfish? Swordfish. Uh, with the souvlaki. Swordfish flake. Thank you. Right, so now we're gonna head to the caves. Uh, we're gonna try it again. We just had some lunch, just had some really nice swordfish. It was really fresh actually. Bolly had a chicken salad which is pretty much like a tomato salad and he's dead against tomatoes so <laughs> so anyhow we're gonna go to the caves and hopefully I'm praying the queue is not gonna be like it was earlier because honestly on a day like this and when you're on a holiday you don't want to be sat in a queue for like ever so we've left it until uh, I don't know what time it is what time is it Ollie? Uh, half two it's half past two so we're going right here um what does that sign mean? Stop. No, the one above it. Oh mate, not to you, dickhead. Oh. To beat that out. Philip, what do you think of the cake? Is it 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 cake?
Well, the cave was cool. It was literally like you go on a little boat, five minutes around, and then out. Oh, look at these kitties! Oh, look at the one in the middle. It's so cute. Hello. There's so many cats. <gasps> oh. That wasn't very friendly. So we currently have this whole little beach to ourselves, which is stunning as like all of this island is. Oh my god, how amazing is this? This is waffles. It's strawberry and chocolate. Oh. Oh. Have you got Ali? Um, I don't. Mm. With a nice view too. Okay, so I thought I'd do a little walk through of our villa. We have been here now four days already, but they've just been in change bedding and towels and stuff. So I thought this was a good time to show you around. So it is Villa Aphrodite. I'll put all the details below of the villa. Oh no, you've had beef. Okay. Can we go to that little restaurant that had like the beige seats? Yeah, whatever you want, my dear. I had to resort to my phone video because uh, my camera ran out of battery. Ollie thought he was free from the vlogging for the day. <laughs> <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> Okay, so 
we just got back from like a busy day driving around, looking around and my hair, I mean yesterday we went in the sea and stuff and it was all like real dead feeling and then obviously I've had the sun on it all day yesterday too and then it's been a little bit sunny today so I've decided I'm going to do a little mask treatment, um, hair mask and this is the Law um, Originals Legend, this is an intelligent dry mask treatment to help rebuild the core integrity of your hair. So I thought I'd give this a go and see what it's like. brushed through really well so it wasn't too knotty I could just comb sort of straight through it after. Good morning so today is Friday and this is like our last full day of the holiday which is really sad because actually the weather today is beautiful um, so I think like so far I have been up actually quite early this morning I think it's about 11 o'clock now but I have actually been up since nine which i know is not like that early but that's early compared to like all the other like times we've been up it's so nice now this weather like it makes me not want to go home so unfortunately this beautiful view and this beautiful villa will be no longer in my life so yeah, I've been up since nine and I've just been like chilling. I've been in the pool a little bit. It's still a bit cold and laying down over here. Um, got some music on. Uh, I actually did a bit of yoga this morning, which is like so not like me, but I was just feeling the position and I thought I'm gonna do some yoga. So I sat on here doing some yoga um, with a can of Pepsi, so. <laughs> obviously probably not what you should be having when you do yoga but it was that or a gin and tonic so I feel like I did quite well but yeah so relaxed So we are heading out to Luxury again, which is like our local town. Um, we've had a nice morning chilling out by the pool, drinking gin and tonics. Well, I have designated, oh my God. Why does it sound like that? Oh, it's hot. The uh, designated driver, unfortunately, has been on the coke. And I mean, Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to head out, get some lunch, probably have a little look around. It is day six now, so that means tomorrow is home time. Uh, but we have got like 
almost a whole day tomorrow, well, a morning, because we haven't got to get to the airport until probably about like um, two o'clock, something like that. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's just a jacket. I thought it was a cat. Tiramisu ever. Is it the best tiramisu? What? Is it the best tiramisu? Yeah. It's so good. It's so creamy. Mmm. What's your ice cream like? Strawberry. Nice. onto this um, ferry here which is going to take us like across the, the bay to the like other side of the island where like the airport is and everything. We've left early so that we can go and have a look around and there's supposed to be some turtles that like nest in the marina so we're going to go and see them. Our flight's not until four so we're going to try and like make the most of the day. We've already seen the turtles today. Yeah. They've missed you. Do you know them personally? I was reading all about them too last night. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so asleep. It's a good job I'm here planning our holiday, isn't it? What would you do if you were here on your own? I'd just take each day as it comes. But where would you go? You haven't I don't think you've looked at a map of Catalonia. I would have done. When I get a chance. Control freak here. No, but what would, I was thinking this the other day. What would you actually do if you were here, like, or, or with someone that, that doesn't plan? I've been bought on this holiday to be your chauffeur. Drive you around from your destination. Destination. No, you haven't. It just so happened that it was expensive to put us both on the car, so we thought, why pay for two when you could just do it? I didn't make you drive yesterday. Did I? Um, yeah, but I mean, just 10 minutes away. Anyway, so then I think we'll go into, yeah, go see the turtles, get some lunch there, although I'm hungry. I might need breakfast first. Um, coffee. How did you get out? I haven't had a coffee today. You don't get out of the car. I'm going to get out and have a look. Holly, you're blocking the view. Turtle's gonna come. <gasps> oh my god, he's come here to my feet. <gasps> Hello. Oh, wow, oh my wave. god, do they bite? <gasps> oh, Bruce, are you ready? Oh my foot. <laughs> there he is. That was worth waiting for. Wow. <laughs> he nearly had my toe off. <laughs> Do 
Oh, uh, he was disappointed with my toe. I think they might be over there. Over where? Behind you. We went to a few beaches, 
but unfortunately like you saw our weather wasn't that great but a beach that we didn't actually manage to swim in which we actually saw today was like perfect so it was all sandy blue seas you've got like taverns along there little snack bars we can get a cocktail and so i definitely recommend that beach which i can't remember the name of that either i'm doing very well with the names am i but i will link everything down below that i think you should do um oh if you're gonna go if you're in argostoli and you want to visit Luxury, or if you're staying in the villa that we stayed in definitely use the ferry that goes across the harbour to the harbour because you can go from Luxury across to Agostoli and that's a great crossing and it saves you a really long windy um, drive around the island and you can get straight across there and it's a really nice crossing as well. So those are a few things that I would recommend. If you've got any questions about anything else on the island or like what we did or any restaurants anything like that let me know and I will answer as much as possible but yeah I hope this was an interesting video and I'm very sad now to be back in the UK I'm going to show you the weather this is crap look at that welcome back to the UK plus our ferry back to the Isle of Wight um, has been cancelled so we're going to be like waiting until late to get the, another ferry back so that's not going to be very much fun but it's all worth it because we've had a brilliant time. So thank you very much for watching.